One interesting point to make that we kind of discovered today is in 2018, in Dara's also fighting alongside Burke and Mesa Gifford, there was a Dutch national and neo-Nazi, Sjord Eger, who was killed, as I said, in Dara Zor, who had previously been fighting with the Nazi brigades against Donetsk and Lugansk. So this was almost a flip. Rather than going from Syria to Ukraine, this guy had come from Ukraine to Syria and had been fighting alongside the Kurdish Contras and people like Daniel Burke and Mesa Gifford. So he could have potentially had a hand in persuading them to go on to Ukraine. The other interesting thing is this Dutch national died fighting the Syrian Arab army and Iranian defense militia on the ground in the northeast fighting. They were fighting ISIS. He was killed fighting them. So I'll just leave that one there. That's very interesting because Daniel Burke had claimed he had gone to Syria in order to fight ISIS. And yet what you've just told us is that in fact, they ended up fighting the Syrian Arab army. Well, certainly one of his comrades was killed fighting the Syrian Arab army and Iranian forces there that were genuinely fighting ISIS. So yes, it must raise questions. So now fast forward to today, of course, the terrorist connection for Burke would have been to PKK, a previously designated terrorist organization that was kind of rebranded into the YPG by the American coalition. So here you can see Daniel Burke, who again is claiming to be raising money for humanitarian activities inside Ukraine. His cover photo is clearly military. We'll come on to that in a minute. His profile picture is calling, obviously, for the release of Aidan Aslan and Sean Pinner. Sean Pinner, of course, a sniper from Plymouth, I think, Mike, who had been fighting against the People's Republics of Donetsk and Luhansk for some time. Both are now, of course, sentenced to death by the DPR. But if we continue on, we'll see, I think, the Dark Angels logo, which is the organization that Daniel Burke has established. I mean, this is where it actually becomes a little bit, I don't know, it's it's just satire. The name Dark Angels comes from the Games Workshop sci-fi miniatures war game Warhammer 40,000. And apparently they're a chapter of the Imperial Space Marines. It's hard not to laugh at that. However, the 3-3, there's been a number of interpretations. 3-3 is generally known as the logo for KKK, K being the 11th Ku Klux Klan, K being the 11th letter of the alphabet, so 11 plus 11 plus 11, 33. So that's one theory we've got on that. And the H, we don't really have any solid theories on what that might represent. Then let's have a look at some of the photos taken again from Daniel Burke's Facebook page of supplies that this group is receiving. And you will see there that the goods have been received from the US government and it's stamped on there for military use. Obviously, government property, commercial resale is unlawful. So the US, via its various allies on the ground in Eastern Europe, is supplying these mercenary groups with equipment and food. 